if you think about it, identity is the issue of the ages. It affects everything. It affects how we view ourselves. It affects our relationships. It affects how we view the world around us. Uh, it, it's, it's all encompassing. Uh, my identity. Uh, I'm a person. Dang, that's a, that's a good question. My identity. There's a lot of elements and factors that are incorporated into identity. It's not something that says, you know, clear cut and simple. My identity, um, I'm not really sure. I guess I'm a mother, definitely. I am a mother. <laughs> and a wife. I would just have to say sports, my identity. I'm all about sports. Uh, <laughs> hard worker. I just try and keep everything close to me so I can keep my life whole so there's no slots or empty parts and I'm a very caring person. My identity is African American. I'm his best friend. And I'm his buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm just me. <laughs> and I'm a student. <laughs> Search for Me study is an in-depth biblical examination of the issue of identity and, and really in relationship to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many of us don't realize the significance or the relationship that we find between identity and the gospel. If, if we go back in time and, and we read in, in Genesis chapter 3 of the fall of man or what I call the crash, uh, the big lie that Adam and Eve believed was you will be like God. And isn't this an identity issue? And, and so when we look at the problems we have in life today, we look at the, the struggles we have as humans, we look at the decay that we see even in the church, we realize that the root of this is about identity. And, and so if the problem is an identity struggle, then the solution that we call the gospel really is an identity message. Do I really um, believe? Do I really do the faith? Can I, can, uh, I trust God and so can I really say that um, I have faith? There is so much of me about myself that I didn't even know. You see, again, not, not in a prideful way, but you see your value through God's eyes. A lot of Christians, we tend to doubt God without really noticing that we're doubting what He can do for us. I try to hide my imperfections. I try to mask things. In his plan, he let Christ uh, die in my place to fulfill the penalty for breaking a covenant relationship. I never completely understood that before. It's very significant, I think. I, I have a deep passion for the Church of Jesus Christ, to see it become everything that God desires it to be. In a sense, I want to see the Church become so beautiful that the world can't help but be drawn to it. And so the, the goal for the series is to help facilitate the, the growth and the maturity of individual Christians, not only in the U.S., but also around the world. It's not just hearing another sermon, it's not just hearing another lecture, it's not just hearing another teaching, but it is, it is hearing, it is doing, it is believing, it is acting, and so that gave it life. It's kind of the age-old question, you know, why am I here on this earth? The small group aspect the breaking into groups and um, digesting and kind of marinating the word, if you will, in our hearts uh, was a real strength of the entire presentation. If I could sum this study up in one word, I would sum it up as freedom. We learn freedom from sin, freedom from the law, and personally most for me is freedom from thinking that I need to be perfect for God to use me which is such a lie. I think that any group would benefit from the material. Um, it crosses, you know, obviously cultures, it crosses, you know, generations, it crosses uh, genders, it crosses a lot of barriers that I think, um, you know, need to be crossed at this point in our, you know, spiritual walk. As a pastor, I think one of my greatest uh, frustrations or heartaches is to see people with such great potential only fulfill a portion or just a piece of what they could be doing and the reason they live so far below it is because they feel unworthy or unaccepted or they have a misconception of who God is or how loving he is and this series addresses so many of those issues 
And I think it just puts people in the right frame of mind to really understand God, first of all, and then to begin to understand themselves. And if they can do that, then I believe it will unlock the potential that's inside of all of them. child of God.